Okay. Today I will demonstrate the three steps I use and have seen other people use to properly put on a bandana. These steps include folding the bandana in half, folding it down to the right size, and finally putting it on your head to wear. Whether you're trying to make a fashion statement or you're outside working, bandanas can be fun and useful for everybody. I have learned through my grandpa that while outside working, you can use bandanas to soak up your sweat and even to blow your nose into. I don't use these bandanas like that, I just wear them. Personally, I've learned the best way to folding a bandana through trial and error and repetition. I've worn these for the past four years and uh, every once in a while I'll have to unfold them and then refold them back to the right size. This has given me more and more practice each time I do this. All right. For all of you, you're all wearing clothes and this is a piece of cloth. For the more daring people, however, you can use this to impress friends or bandanas work well for every theme for the student section at sporting events. In the next few minutes, I will demonstrate the simple steps of folding a bandana in half, folding it down to the right size, and then finally putting it on your head. Now, let's start with folding the bandana in half. Bandanas are not perfect squares, so this makes this step a little bit more frustrating than you would think. And for those of you with OCD, you may get a little bit more frustrated than others. As you look at it, it's a rectangle. So what you want to do is grab it by two corners that are catty corner from another, and then just pick it up and then lay it on the table. That basically folds it in half. Now that it is folded in half, the next step is to fold it down to the right size. Two things to keep in mind while doing this are to fold it small, that way it doesn't cover up your entire forehead, and uh, don't get mad when the edges don't line up because again, a bandana is a rectangle, not a square. So to start, just fold the bandana over and then keep doing this. Make sure you're not folding it too big because again, it will cover up your entire forehead. I learned from experience. And then just keep going until there's nothing left to fold. Sometimes you'll get this little little tail thing, which is fine. You just probably should restart because you don't want a little tail hanging out. Now that it's folded, the next thing to do would be to put it on your head. Over the years, I have learned that it is best to put it on how you want to wear it. So if you want the knot in the back, put it on like this. Or if you want the knot in the front, like this. I prefer the knot to be in the back, but some of you may prefer it to be in the front. So what I do is I put it up against my forehead <laughs> and then just tie it in the back. I tie a double knot, that way it doesn't become untied and it stays on your head for longer. That is how you wear a bandana. Again, the three steps are to fold the bandana in half, fold it down to the proper size, and then finally put it on your head using a double knot. I hope you all can understand why I enjoy these so much, and I hope you may want to try out a new style after this. And as I said previously, whether you're just trying out a new style, working outside to uh, soak up some sweat, or maybe blow your nose, or if you're going to the student section to show your school spirit, bandanas can be fun and useful for everybody. Thank you.